Yeah, glowing sex will probably help out my situation. What is up with this music? So I'm gonna put a slab here. That way it can auto close. And then let me go ahead and put these uh, composters right there. Nope. <laughs> My bad. Right here. Cool. And then we put the gate right there. Nice. What do you guys think if I put these up? That way it kind of looks... Uh, not really digging that. Unless, what if I put slabs up top? Or what if I do it the way I used to do it? I do it like that and then I'll just put a sign right here uh is that the iron golem up top look look where it says edit sign message you can see the <laughs> iron golem <laughs> walking around villager trading hall Actually, I'll put. Uh, I spell entrance. Is I spell it? Entrance. I'll put a line right here. Well, it's shaped like one. I like that one. It is a golem. Why is he up there? Oh my gosh. I just have the greatest idea. Your brain? Hold on. No, I can't pick him up. <laughs> oh no, he's probably too big. Nope, not letting me. Oh well, I tried, but. I can put him there. Oh, and I have a dog here too. Uh, let me put you inside, buddy. There we go. I'll just put you in the middle. That one looks good. Cool. Something simple. Kind of... The only thing that bothers me about this is it looks like a mine shaft. That's the only thing that bothers me. But other than that, it looks fine to me. Ooh, pretty close. Efficiency. Let me put the extra signs down really quick. What's your name? Dara. Dara the... Uh, whatever. Uh, uh, well, I don't even know what enchantment. Whatever, whichever one she gets first. So, I'm assuming Dara is a she. Uh, should I put... A St Stevie the guy. Dara the girl? Girl. <laughs> girl? Lady? I don't know. I mean, since like, since we can edit these now, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill all of these in. Okay. 
Okay, so I have all those. Yeah, I'm gonna need a bunch of signs. I don't know what to put. The villager? I could just replace, instead of guy or girl, I could just put CV the mending villager. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna need a ton of sign. I think. Let me look at my inventory. I have sticks, I have wood. I need two signs. Six. Two sets, total of six. I'll go ahead and use it, why not? And then I'll just fill in their names as they populate. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to call this place. Villager breeding center. Hoka center. How can I, can I do that? Can I put that little hyphen on the E? <laughs> nah, I don't know. Um, I'll just put it back in the middle. Gotta make it fit with the other signs, am I right? Oh, they're both grown. Cool. each I swear I'm gonna name one of these uh, villagers AI like in my last world that's pretty funny okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one trap door in here that will help me out books Probably keep the books. Okay, so now let me go ahead and do these things and then I'm probably gonna end stream. Or I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how everything goes. Ooh, I still have the same style over here. Then it's peaceful. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I still need to work on upstairs. Okay. Uh, wood. I need to put that away. Potatoes. Wheat. Adobe. I like that one. <laughs> Let me just replace the wood with some uh, terracotta. And that would make perfect sense. Alright, so my main goal right now is to repair... Prepare my pickaxe and then abode.
my dyslexicness got to me. Oh well. I mean, that's what they built back in the day, right? Adobe's? <laughs> Out of clay, right? If I remember correctly. Back in like elementary school. Okay, so do I have hold on me? I do, but I think it's over here. Hey, what is up? You again. True, the, yeah, those two letters are kind of mirrored, I guess. Thanks for understanding, Muffin. Okay. Uh, oh no, I already have boots. Before I end stream, would you guys like to see a trailer of what I plan on playing? That way you guys can get a hint. <laughs> I can play it live, uh, of course. That way we can all uh, view it at the same time. It's been a while since I used it. Whoa, we're getting pretty close. Pretty close. Holy cow. Just don't want to run into my nemesis, the gas. That would be no good. Holy cow, they're getting pretty close. Get into place. Actually, <laughs> don't say his name. I'm gonna summon him. Ooh, hero brain. That would be pretty cool. vicinity. No worse, the gas. I should put a torch to... Oh, there's one down here. That it's repairing it pretty quick, surprisingly. Probably what another round or two. Oh, there's more coming over here. I know you can hear them. There we go. Any more? Oh, look. My buddy. I need to go see if he has any illegal enchants. Like Fortune 5. Say hi to your buddy. <laughs> uh, I will. Hopefully, he doesn't despawn. But there's more, a lot more zombies coming over here. Oh, 
me. All right, I think that's everyone that's here. Hopefully this is the last round. Not gonna lie, this is one of the best alternatives that I know for a starter XP farm compared to a uh, regular spawner XP farm. want to get stuck <laughs> and there we go it's almost done it's almost fixed up all the way let me go and say what's up the buddy any crazy enchant rocked five unbreaking four protection I could make. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I heard him. There's still aggro at me? I guess so. I'm thinking about walking in those areas to, uh,. Maybe make him spawn? Let me go ahead and do that. Oh, that's Blackstone. This one's not aggro, I mean. He hasn't heard the news. just aggro them on purpose really quick oh is that a piglin oh there's that's a regular piglin but those zombie ones they're trying to get come over here right I was gonna try to go in between them. But it was too small of an entrance. Anyone over there? Mm, got a couple. Whoa. I feel like changing this music. There we go. We got a good amount here. Oh, what is that? Four? It's look at they're marching. They're organized. Piglins might be smarter than what we once thought. Wrong button. There we go. Oh, 
Oh god, look at that! There's zombies! There's zombies on my map! I don't know what zombies are doing in the nether, but they're... Look at that, baby zombie. That is so weird. I don't know if that's like one of my mods, or what's going on. He was carrying- did you see that? He was carrying a golden sword! That makes absolutely no sense. Whoa, I picked all that up. Anyone else? Uh, my pick is basically brand new, almost. Thank you for your service. I will go ahead and go back. Okay, so for this last one, I am thinking about trying to find a desert so I can get a whole boatload of sand. Boatload? Buttload? I think it's a buttload of sand. I don't know how the saying goes. Correct me if I'm using the saying wrong. Hey, what is up, Zenderman? Welcome back. Yeah, I'm gonna change this song really quick. Um, let me choose a good one. Do this one. Can't go wrong with this one. Let me go and combine these. I should definitely put a crafting table in here. Oh, I totally forgot. I made a shortcut. Look at that. But yeah, I definitely need to go looking for a desert. Pretty bad. Two blocks. Not bad, not bad, not bad. This back. This is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. I totally agree with you, Wolf. Two seeds, I will take that. You know what, I'm just gonna put all my zombie flesh in one chest. Uh, I will put everything else back over here. Like so. Sorry to hear that muffin. Uh, books I will put back in my personal chest. Well, everything will get better, muffin. Don't you worry about that. Uh, let me go ahead and remove these. Okay. Wait a minute. I have an idea. What if... Hear me out. Ooh, there's a desert over here. What if I go find my long lost 
packed today. Oh, are you serious? Man, that's a bummer. Well, uh, I'm here to uh, lighten up the mood and make, hopefully make everything better. Just gotta phase in. All right, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my long lost cat. I'm gonna go ahead and name it after Muffin. That would be pretty cool. Even though I have a real life cat that has that same pattern and her name is Spotty. Um, and then I will go find that desert that uh, is off in that direction. Muffin the cat. <laughs> She is the one that recommended me to get a cat, so. So, I'm gonna go find my long lost cat. If I can't find it, well, that's a huge bummer. But, uh. I will find another one. With the same coat, same pattern. And, yeah. So, in case, I'm going to have you guys help me out. Nope. Oh my gosh. Here, this is what I'm going to do. In order for you guys to help me out, I'm going to go ahead and expand the map. Uh, view. I'm going to expand the map. So, if you guys see a cat, let me know. And I will try to keep an eye on chat as often as I can. But I know, I know I went to this village. That's where I got the cat. And then I think I came around this way. No, I remember coming over here. We'll see. We have all day in this Minecraft uh, day to find it. Even though, what is it, about 10 minutes? I could also do this to help out. Uh, I think it's entity. I'll make it two. There we go. <laughs> Does that help out you guys? <laughs> that way you guys don't. Whoa! Check that out. Are there any diamonds down there? I have no idea if that helps out or not. Probably not. Probably defeats the purpose, not gonna lie. Let me go ahead. Yeah, let me go ahead and uh, change that. It is kind of defeating the purpose. I'll do 1.2. Ooh, an egg. So far, nothing yet. This area does look familiar, though. Thinking about expanding out my render distance. Is render distance linked to uh, how far you can see an entity? Or is it a, uh, let me see. Simulation distance, the simulation. The simulation distance controls how far away terrain and entities will be loaded and ticked. 
that make but uh I'm gonna go ahead and leave it because my PC is probably gonna blow up Okay, my entity distance cannot pass the render distance. Got it. <gasps> my cat! <gasps> I found my cat. I found my cat. Yeah, I lost my cat. You want to see? <laughs> yeah, and I lost it. And I found it. I just found it. You wouldn't believe what kind of cat it is. No, I wish. Yeah. That's typical. They're right there. <laughs> I, I forgot. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, I... Yeah, she, she can teleport, so she's good. I think... What I think what happened was is I picked her up. And then I just ran off. <laughs> yeah. Well I found her now. Give her fish? Uh, I think I have one fish at the house. My next cat is going to be... we'll see. Honestly, all the cats that are in Minecraft, I probably have in real life. I have one gray cat. I have two tabbies. I have a spotty. I, I used to have an orange cat. Um, actually, my mom still has her orange cat. Uh, What else? What else? I have an Oreo, a black and white cat. I have two all black cats. I used to have a black and an orange cat, but someone stole her. So yeah. I used to have a cat in real life, passed away two years ago. Oh no. Sorry to hear that. I know losing an animal it can be really tough. That uh kind of happened to my orange cat. I think last year. Yeah. Passed away. Actually, Spotty's brother uh, is the one that passed away. The all orange one. But, uh, it's all good now. Yep, still right behind me. He's definitely going inside. Even though the real the real life spotty hates being inside. Pretty funny. But she always comes back. Cats are expensive? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, well, I don't know. They can be expensive. I know, I feel like dogs are more expensive though. I have four dogs. Right now, I have four dogs. I used to have six. But one of them got stolen, literally from our yard. We don't, we actually, unfortunately, don't have footage of it, but we know... How it happened and where it happened. And the other one we actually had to give away uh, to the, the animal rescue, the pound, unfortunately, because he just did not get along with the other dogs. And we tried and tried and tried for two, we tried for two years. And, uh, it would get better, but he would just relapse and go back into the fighting, and we always had to separate him, and it was just 
it was difficult because me and my wife work at the same time, so we just figured for it to be better for that all the animals and for for us to get you know less stressed out. Uh, we just we wanted to give them away to a family, but we couldn't find anyone to take them in. So we just had a. Oh look, he's sitting. Perfect. I'll just say it's a she. She's sitting. I need to get another cat. Dogs can have severe jealousy or loneliness and lash out in anger from them. Yeah, but I mean, we all we treat them all the same. They're all around the same age, and I think at most there's probably like a two year difference. Um, we figured that it was a dominance thing, like uh, like the leader of the pack. Like when we're there, they don't fight because they know that we're in charge and that uh, they listen to us and we, you know, we treat them all the same. But uh, when we're not there, like I, we even did a test uh, when I was in the backyard and my wife was in the front yard, we were doing yard work. Um, he, they were all fine. They were all playing together. They're all fine. Uh, it was until when I left the backyard and went into the front yard with my wife just to catch up and talk about things. They started fighting. So I think when we're gone, they kind of decide who's who's leading, who's in charge, even though it, it should be all the same because they're all like equal because we treat them equal. But in a dog's world, I don't know. If, I don't think that's a thing. But uh, I don't know. That's just assumption. I'm not a. Yeah, my dogs play fight with each other all the time. But when it comes to <laughs> them trying to grab each other's neck and pin each other down and then bleeding happens, <laughs> that's not, <laughs> I don't think that's play fighting. Like they would literally have scars on their necks. Like it would, it would be pretty bad. Like even their nose, their nose was all scratched up, their jaws, their necks. Like they would go straight for the face and the neck. It was pretty bad, but uh, I even uh, like they tried fighting in front of me one time, but I somehow gathered all my strength and literally pulled them apart with my bare hands. I just grabbed the skin of their neck, like how uh, puppies, how uh, mother dogs grab their puppies. I grabbed that same that area, that neck. And then I pulled them apart, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Experiences. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about uh, my my experiences with dogs. Anyways, that literally went on from. Uh, I'm talking about my cats. Okay, let me go ahead and fix the map. And uh, let me see. Two settings. Size, default, entity size, 0.6. And we're back in business. Have you ever heard of the combat and healing updates coming to Bedrock? No, I have not. I believe inequality, but also hierarchy. Yeah. It's, it's a very fine balance between the two. Because, you know, some someone has to lead... But that leader, that leader has to show leadership to where everyone is treated equally. So I do believe in, in a sense, uh, hierarchy and equality. If that's what you mean, Zenderman, I think we're both on the same ideology, something like that. It just depends on good leadership, pretty much. And that goes throughout all of life. You just have to basically uh, show by example. If my dogs decide they hate me, then I'm dead. 
I'm curious. Do you have dogs right now, Zenderman? I'm curious. Equality is what this wordy, this world needs, but not communism level. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like equality is perfect. Capital, I, I do like the idea of capitalism, and only because you have the freedom for like business, you know. Because yeah, I mean, you should be able to do what you want. Obviously, not at a, like a criminal level, not that bad, but you know doing things properly having the freedom to do what you want with within legal limits you know everything's fine now we're here we literally went from talking about animals to talking about <laughs> government <laughs> hey but i do like government uh i do like the ideologies i did take oh look that's an oreo i have one of those cats in real life but uh, I did take political science in college, so I do like the ideas. It's just the difficulty in implementing those ideas in real life. So I know there's a couple countries that are really doing good. I think Finland and Del... Is Delaware a country? I know that's a... Delaware, Delaware, Delaware. Is that a country? I don't know. Denmark. I think I'm thinking of Denmark. Finland and Denmark. I know those are countries that are doing pretty good, I think, if I recall correctly. Especially their education, educational system. But, uh... Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Look at that wavy water. Interesting conversation at the least. To say, to say the least. But yeah, these are these are my interests. Uh, oh, is this the desert? I think this is the desert. Yeah, I do have a lot of in interests. Typically, not the usual ones, but uh, I'm kind of one of those guys that are just jack of all trades. I have a lot of really weird interests, such as government, technology. Uh, I like tinkering with things. Uh, I have yet to find a good job that has roles that I can use my experience or what's the right word? I don't know, but I still haven't found a really good job yet. So UPS, it's all right. The pay's okay, but leadership wise um it's it could use some work <laughs> at least the building where i'm at so it is what it is this it's not the company's fault i will say that it is uh totally any job any job i wouldn't say it's the company's fault it can be i'm not i'm not getting rid of the idea that it can't be because it totally can be depending on uh you know your work environment and all that but uh holy cow i'm just i'm literally just talking out of my i'm not even thinking i'm just talking let me see that's an oreo eat it then oh my gosh delaware is a bit city i think knowledge what are you looking for in a job? Um, honestly, I mean, like I've said in the past, I am looking to do this full time live streaming. But if I were to look for a job, I would look for a job where I can continue to grow my skills, both personally and in the company. So that way it benefits both parties. Um, I mean, good leadership from management, whether that be me taking management, I would, it would just depend on, you know, who's, who's the upper 
Who's your boss, I guess, basically, in simple terms. Who's, who's above you, basically. Just good leadership. Once you have good leadership, I mean, the jobs, jobs are pretty easy. Because then they'll give you all the resources, all the equipment, everything that you need to success, be successful in either life or in uh, in your uh, occupation. Jeez, I feel like this is turning into a podcast. I like listening to people ramble on. <laughs> Yeah, this is me literally rambling on. Like, I'm literally just, uh, there's really no direction to this conversation. I'm just, <laughs> if you guys want to give me a topic, I could go and talk about it. Only if I'm knowledgeable about it. I will admit I'm not knowledgeable on everything, but I do have quite a bit of experience in uh, quite a few things. Dude, look at that water. Looks nice. Uh, I will take this. Don't mind if I do. What the heck? What just happened? Did the cactus juice just come out? That's cactus juice. Cactus stores water. Well, I know that in real life, but in Minecraft, I mean, Minecraft isn't, I, I don't even know. All I can say is that this is Minecraft and it's not supposed to be real. <laughs> even though we're getting pretty close to being it being real. Uh, let's see, this is a pretty small desert, not gonna lie. Let me see make a podcast i've thought about it um the only thing is i've heard that it's pretty hard to be for podcasts to be successful there's this one youtuber that i watch i currently watch and he says that he sees a trend where when uh when channels youtube channels flip their channels to podcasts that they usually see them fail because they well it could be for many reasons but the most the most of the time he sees it because uh, what do you say because uh, they don't produce enough content they're not consistent something uh, along those lines But, uh, yeah, that's what it, from what I remember. How much hand did I get? I could get maybe a little bit more. But, yeah, podcasts are pretty, pretty difficult uh, subject or topic or op occupation to be successful in. Although, that you know, don't get me wrong, there are successful podcasts. You know, Joe, Joe Rogan. He's, you know, one of the top ones. I don't really watch him that often. I do see shorts and clips here and there from him. Uh, there's him. There's Bradley Martin, the fitness guy. Uh, probably a couple other ones that I'm missing. But yeah, it, you really just need, in order to be basically a hit, for podcasts from what I've seen is you need to be uh, priorly successful and somewhat known so like Bradley Martin he built his brand off YouTube now he has his clothing brand and now that people know him he's more successful at having a podcast than the average Joe so just to keep that in mind I guess Managing a podcast sounds too difficult. Yeah, you would also have need to have guests too. I mean, unless you just talk by yourself. <laughs> yeah.
it's because most people come from come to YouTube to see people play games, not to just talk. True. I mean, if you think about it, I could start a podcast and uh, play Minecraft in the background. Or while during the podcast, I could play Minecraft. We could literally talk about uh, topics and just uh, go from there. Anyways, we went from talking about animals to uh, government to podcasts. Is there another topic you guys would like me to uh, expand on? You know, one another job I was looking into for quite a while was becoming a teacher. I actually do like teaching, and I do like I do like talking. Uh, sometimes I do talk a little bit too much, but um, yeah. So, uh, interesting fact about me, I guess. My apologies, I zoned out. Too tired. No problem. Completely understand Zenderman. Need to head out and take a nap or go to sleep? Do what you gotta do. Isn't the... Yes, it is. Yes, it's pretty, uh, pretty bad for teachers. A lot of teachers struggle, actually. From what I know of. They actually have to spend a lot of their own money uh, in order to give a decent education to their students. Uh, as far as I know, and from what I've been told from my aunt, because she is a teacher. So I don't know, I haven't, t uh, I mean, I still talk to her, but I, I haven't talked to her regarding teaching extensively in a while so i don't know how it is nowadays but assuming it's the same yeah that's that's how it is i think still but i think they get paid depending on your teaching level and teaching skill and how long you've been teaching i think it's somewhere between 30 to 60 thousand maybe 70 70 is kind of pushing it though 70,000 a year, if I remember correctly from statistics and all that. Let me see, 39 to 80K. Yeah, that's on the higher end. It probably just depends on your city and neighborhood and all that as well. Okay, so cactus. Let's see if I get a chicken. This is like Pokemon. Oh. That in there. In there. Do I have any extra sand laying around? I think I do. Then name the rabbit Muffin. Muffin the rabbit. So, Muffin, I'm gonna ask you, what is your favorite animal in Minecraft? And I will name the animal after you. Sand, sand, sand. Do I have any sand? I don't. furnace in my house i think i do right yeah right there cool
and a there's no way you're getting one bet that is a bet no doubt There's a jungle right around the corner. And I will pick it up. No problem. <laughs> Wolf, you know what's up. <laughs> I'm going straight for the jungle. You know it. Muffin, you played yourself. Oh my gosh, did I just break the grass? Oh, he's down for the count. Wow. Yeah. Yes, I know what's up. <laughs> and it's the sky. <laughs> and if you go further beyond that, it is face. That's literally it. Just nothingness. Just kidding, it's not nothing. What's that saying? Some nothing can be something, but something can be nothing, something like that. They're still bald? Oh my gosh. Oh, you gotta go, Zenman. All right, see you later, Zenman. Good having you in chat. Bald? Wait, what? Where did the word bald come from? Someone mentioned bald? Uh, okay, so question is, hey, uh, Wolf, we're going to be on a mission, and I'm taking you on that mission. Where do pandas spawn? Do they spawn in the jungle, the sparse jungle, uh, the bamboo jungle, or something like that? Let's see. See anything yet? <gasps> I see one. Muffin, you just messed up. He's right over here. Hopefully, I can pick him up. What's up, buddy? Let's get it. Oh, snap. Let me see. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, now I gotta find my way back home. Uh, I said bald. Bald? I don't remember saying bald. What was I relating it to? What? I am so confused. Oh. I'm sorry, Muffin, but I might have to let go of this, uh, this beast. Can't I just like? Hold on, hold on. Let's see, where can I put him? I'm gonna put him... Uh, yeah, this is gonna be an issue. No! No! Oh my god! Rip. Sorry, Ma. Welp, uh, 
on to find the next uh This is what you give me. <laughs> well, first I got trap. So let me fix that and then I can properly I couldn't see the the panda was in my face. I can't see through the panda. I'll do the best that I can to fix this problem because there's another buddy boy over here. Is he a shiny Pokemon? I don't know. Let's go. See. Nope. He's not brown. He's black and white. Buddy boy, what's good? Let's try to not fall in any holes. Onto the next muffin. <laughs> oh gosh, just two o'clock. I have to head out. My next building is gonna be a zoo. That would be pretty cool. And I'm gonna name them all Muffin. And I believe. Oh no, I I can't open right it. Not letting me open my inventory. Oh, it's right behind me. Yep, right there. And name every single one muffin. A panda farm? I could, I would just have to find another panda. Preferably a brown one, but I know those are pretty rare. Oh gosh, I need to eat. So I should probably do that right now. And while I'm eating, we could check out that trailer. And then after that, I might have to call a day again. I'm going to have to double check everything. Oh, no. I'm going to put them in my house for now. All the animals are going in my house for now. Where should I put the zoo at? That's a good question. Um, I'm literally just talking to myself. I'm thinking out loud pretty much. There we go. Maybe I could put the zoo. I could have the zoo connected to the, that, the villager trading hall. Maybe like on the level below down here. Ooh, that's a good idea. On top of the mountain, it's beautiful. Wait, saying you know that bridge from before? Which one, the outside bridge or the inside bridge? You can make it from your current house and make the view across the mountain. Oh, the one that you made. Right? I think you made it like right here. And then you made it across. Oh, right there? Somewhere around there. Yeah, the really expensive one. <laughs> I can't really afford that. Uh... There we go. What's up, buddy? Buddy. Here, I'm going to bring one of my dogs in here. Should I bring one or two dogs in my house? What do you guys think? Muffin, you I'm gonna give you the sole responsibility of making design and animal decisions. Is 
Dang, wolf already answering. <laughs> did the dog kill the rabbits? I don't... Well, wolves, they do. But once the wolves are tamed, they don't uh, attack anything. Well, foxes, yes, foxes do. I don't think you could tame foxes, can you? You could breed them with the wheat berries, but you can't tame them. Dogs will kill skeletons. Well, yeah, besides skeletons. I'll bring two of them. Oh, pick the lonely looking one? Well, I have six dogs. Which one looks lonely? Got one, two, three, and four. And then I have five. But he's with the llamas. And I have six. And he's with the villagers. So one, two, three, or four. This one keeps looking at me. One. It's all alone? <laughs> Okay. I'll put him with the panda. Jeez, my house is becoming a... Okay. I'll give you this. Should I make a barn that has all the animals? Or should I make a zoo? Where'd my dog go? like my real life house imagine how bad the house smells <laughs> oh my gosh did you just grab your dog <laughs> yes yes i did shark games i did grab my dog and i could grab my cat and i could grab the panda <laughs> and the rabbit Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Holy cow. There, easy. Minecraft at its finest. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take a break eating, but in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and check out the trailer of the new game that I'm gonna be playing tomorrow so i'm gonna go ahead and 